So you've just got your jersey. How are you feeling? Wow. Um, it almost feels like everything happened so quickly. I feel like I'll understand the feelings like, you know, like an hour or maybe 24 hours from now. Um, but that being said, to see, to be sitting here with your last name printed on such a special jersey and to see this number and know that you'll be wearing this in the biggest stage, you know, of your career is something incredibly special. So it's, um, yeah, it's very valuable. <laughs> very cool. It was very nice seeing Vera giving you all big hugs because I know we talked to her yesterday and how incredibly difficult she's found the last couple of days. It felt like last night and today were just really good moments to just soak in the fun element of things and the actual excitement of we're going to the first ever World Cup. Oh yeah, and I think that I think that too when that hug is almost like this big sigh of relief for the both of us just to because to recognize that like this is a momentous moment and this is something to be celebrated and it's something that those before us and those who have played with us in the last few weeks and over the last few campaigns like everyone has attributed to this and we like Shavira said last night we stand on the shoulders of those who had come before us and so that hug almost represented this like hey like congratulations celebrate this isn't this is a moment to be happy about and it truly is like it's it's genuine mm -hmm. I think that really came through last night when Linda, Olivia and Paula were talking and there was almost like, it was almost like they wrapped the group up in a hug and they were just like, we know it's been a difficult few days, but also look at what you're doing and let that sink in for a second. I don't know if you guys felt that as well. Oh, absolutely. And I think coming from them as well, they understand the feelings, the tumultuous feelings that we have right now in this all. Like as athletes, I think sometimes we, we can like really um, like, we can really like hold like like we can really like understand how each other feel whether we were in or whether we're not in or like getting a missed opportunity not being looked at or maybe getting that one last opportunity and that making you get in so I feel like we can we can really empathize with one another and we of course understand that like this is a moment that we celebrate and like we are appreciative of those who come before us but to hear them say it as well that like it is a, that they are so excited for us and that they're excited that they were a part of our story as well is like I mean it's something to make I was sitting there I was like we need to make a documentary about this like this is unbelievable I mean a, a, like Linda's memory alone was just like I was like start writing this down it was so good yeah. I love talking to them all at the 50th anniversary event and there was just women who hadn't seen each other in like 20 30 years and they're like is that, is that Mary is that right, you and right. like they're just like their memories were just incredible you obviously took up a bit of a new position in the team in the U.S. camp. Have you been kind of training with leaning towards that position again or your more traditional position? Yeah, great question. Um, I'd say that definitely have been preparing myself for and with the team for any position that presents itself. That being said, I do know that with our successes in the last camp and a lot of the big steps we've made, um, I definitely know that like that is a role in which I should be prepared for as well coming up into the World Cup um, and it's one that yeah like it's something that you basically have to be like mentally physically emotionally ready to be training at any point but I'd say yes like I'm very much preparing for to be in a role or to be in a position to to be there again. And looking ahead to the France game next week, you guys have probably had so much going on the last few days, it's probably hard to even think that far ahead, but what are you looking forward to in terms of getting back out on the pitch and this time it's like, okay, this is our squad, we're going to the World Cup, we need to perform. Yeah, no, it's exciting to have that test. I mean, every every camp it feels like it's like a new test. It's like, it's a test, but it's different from the last one and it's still going to be different from the next one. But um, I'd say that... This is an opportunity for us to really present ourselves and prepare ourselves for the competition and the level of competition we will meet here very soon. And I think that's, like Vera has always said, that meeting opponents like that is the most important thing, exposing yourself you know, physically, exposing yourself emotionally, exposing yourself in every capacity to those kinds of levels of, of play is the only way to be able to succeed and prepare for it in the future. So. I'm excited because again, like it is competition that we we thrive in. We love it. It's something that we need to be comfortable with. And you can see how much the team has developed in that sort of atmosphere over the last couple of years. And finally, everyone walked out to the same song to get their jersey. But if you had to walk out to a particular song to receive your jersey, what song do you think it would be? That is a great question. Um, 
Okay. I think the song I would go out to is very, it's very niche, but it's a Drake song off one of his, 2000, his album from 2016, and it's called Child's Play. And I know everyone might be looking that up being like, how, why would this person? But the girls will understand. That's, that would be the song, my signature song that I would walk out to. I love it. I'm going to ask everyone this question and compile all the answers and then... Yes, make a playlist of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my World Cup playlist. I know. Why That'll... not? I'll follow it on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Kira. Yeah, thank you. You're great. So as you were just saying, you've literally been traveling and you've not really had a chance to touch a ball or anything. Are you excited to get out on the pitch tonight? Very excited. I think it's almost been like four days. I feel like this is like the longest time... I mean, not in my life, obviously, but like since season started that I haven't touched a ball. So it's just like a good feeling to have that itch, you know, Um, because you're just reminded how much you love it and how much you love to do this. So, yeah. And how have you found it since coming into camp? Because it's obviously been quite a whirlwind for you guys still playing your regular season and then coming straight into squad announcement and all the events. Yeah, it's been a lot and a whirlwind for sure, but I think it's been good. Like, I'd rather kind of just been, like, thrown into it, and that's kind of what it's been like. And, um, I, like, now that I'm here, it's like this chapter starting for the World Cup and having all the events that we've had is just, like, letting that feeling sink in that this is really happening and like getting excited and I think that's an important part of the process so I'm just like grateful. I was thinking last night at the Sky event like there was a lot of Irish sort of crack and I was like I wonder how people like Sinead and Marissa are finding this. How did you find it? I loved it and I'm also learning that this phrase crack is a phrase. I was just asking Louise about it. I'm like what does it mean? Like fun? Um, Yeah I thought it was awesome like first of all like the concert I was like this is so fun. but I just like love the the energy of Irish people and the humor and like everything about it. So I think I just feel at home like in that kind of place. And so I think it's just been awesome to see like all the support too in the community for this team. So it's been great. Yeah, it really feels like it's kind of upped the ante a little bit the last couple of days. I was waiting for when people would start to pay attention. I think the squad being announced certainly made people really excited. Yeah. What do you think last night about like, you know, there was all the clubs and little girls and they one club would be like, we're home farm and everyone would be like, boo. But it was really nice. Yeah, no, I love it. I mean, that rivalry is fun. Like that age is, you know, where you kind of fall in love with soccer. So the fact that like they were there, I think so much of what we do is for the upcoming generations and so I think when you see the girls and the kids it just reminds you of like the things that we're fighting for what we're playing for and so it was awesome yeah and looking ahead to the next week the France game coming up a few training sessions ahead of that and then pretty much straight on a plane over to Australia the whirlwind really doesn't stop no I feel like my life has been a whirlwind just for the last however long but um yeah I think I am really, I know that it's going to kind of, it it does have that like whirlwind effect, like with the traveling and just getting ready. And I just really want to like be present and slow down as much as I can and enjoy the process because I know it's going to like in some sense fly by and I'm going to miss it. So I think I'm really just taking it day by day and just taking in yeah, the moment. Yeah. And how has it been being back into football, back into proper season and now going to a World Cup? I mean, to come back into the game and to have all those things happening at once it's pretty cool yeah it's been crazy um cool definitely for sure and like hard and a lot and overwhelming um it's just been like such a ride and I don't I feel like I'm not gonna like it's hard to remove myself from it because it's like all I know now I'm gonna look back and be like that was the craziest time in my whole life because it's just one thing after another you know but I'm I'm so grateful and I wouldn't have like done it a different way or I guess I didn't have control over it but I'm just like glad that I decided to get soccer back in my life because it's just been like one surprise after the next and just been so fun and um yeah it's been crazy but like again just so grateful for the opportunity and what has the reaction to Irish fans been like to you because you came in for that U.S. camp and a lot of people weren't expecting you to join the camp and this is probably your first proper time on Irish soil since then I assume yeah I so I not on social media so I like do my best to stay off that but I know that just from my own Irish family and just from you know people send me like oh this article or something so I've seen a little bit of things and so I do feel support obviously I think it is a difficult position to be kind of new and come in and and know that I wasn't part of like them qualifying and stuff like that um 
but I hope to just like make the country proud and the teammates proud and just know that like I'm truly honored and it's a privilege to be here. And is there any part of you that's kind of worried with the intensity of the tournament? Because I mean, like a lot of people on the squad have never played three games in the space of 10 days. It's quite, quite a lot. Yeah, I'm, I think it's natural to worry. Like I definitely am, but I also feel like I'm as ready as I'll ever be. And all I can do is just like try it, <laughs> you know what I mean? And show up. So I'm hoping my body will withstand it. I mean, it's more than physical too. It's like mental and emotional, but I think I'm as like prepared and as ready as I'll ever be. So. And final question, you guys got your jerseys earlier and you all walked out to the same song. But we're putting together a playlist of the songs that you all would have walked out to if you'd had a choice of your individual song. So what would you have chosen? Oh my God. Music is like my life. There's like too many songs. Okay. Like what vibe would I want? Oh, I want like pump up or slow. Um, I feel like you almost need like a boxing ring rock, a ring walk sort of song. Like, you know, Arusha came out like punching there. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Oh. Um, God, I don't know. I feel like the, um, oh, I've real. I don't know, but like, sorry, this is like, you're like, I don't want you to take this long. Um, like, I don't want too harsh of a song. Like, I'm more of like soft. So, oh, when I, I think I would do um, Queen, like Under Pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, like has some beat but a little casual. I, that was like a song in when I was in college we all got to pick a song to put on like the warm-up playlist when we were seniors and that was the song I picked. So full circle moment I'd pick the same song. It's also kind of apt the whole under pressure going into a World Cup. Exactly. That's <laughs> I'm so anxious so that's perfect. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much yeah. today. Yeah nice to meet you.